Hi, Connor. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Okay. We will start with questions from Anthony Dasher. Okay. Hey, Connor, good to see you, man. Uh, see just from uh, going back to, to fall ball and uh, – and right here in preseason, when you when you look at this this freshman class, you got a lot of guys who are going to be having to contribute this year. Not on the mound and some you know, Parks and uh, some other guys there on you know on, in the infield and et cetera. What is it about this group that kind of help makes you think they're a number one ready to go right now? And I, I guess B, what are some of the intangibles maybe they're bringing to to this team at this point in time? Um, well, they came in the fall and worked really hard. Um, they showed that they could hit. They showed they could pitch. Um, definitely on the mound part, uh, since we had a lot of starters go down, like Will and Garrett, they're definitely going to have to step up there and just have confidence in themselves and really just be able to pitch really well. And then on the hitting side, like in the fall, you saw yourself, like they can hit the ball with power, with bases, two strikes. Like they're just really good. And I think they're going to tr contribute really well. Oh, thanks, man. Okay, next we'll go to Palmer Tomes and then Drew Hubbard. Hey, Connor, obviously you've got several different roles that you can play. Uh, how important is that to have guys that, that can do multiple things? I know, you know, Coach Strickland was talking about the depth on this team and the number of guys that can play, you know, several different positions. Um, yeah, that's a big part because, I mean, you never know. COVID come through, knock a few people out, and you just know you have people to back you up and are ready to play that position. And then also injuries like – like on the mound, again, uh, somebody gets hurt. There's always there's somebody there to pick you up and take – or not take your spot, but fill in your spot and be ready to go. And that's what we need to be successful in this year. Kind of going back to the um, freshman class idea, um, you talked with Garrett about getting the freshman class ready. So what are some things that you're seeing out of this freshman class that you got the upperclassmen are working with to get them ready to go this year? Can you say that again? Like, what are some things you're seeing from the freshman class that gives you confidence as they go into their first baseball season? Uh, I'd say the, the main thing for me is that during the fall ball when they pit, like pitchers, they throw a lot of strikes. And, I mean, that's all you really ask for from a freshman pitcher is that they just get up there and throw a lot of strikes and let your defense work. <clears throat> but for the hitters, uh, they showed late in fall that they could hit with power and that they can contribute. Uh, at the plate. Okay, next we'll go to Chip Towers. Yeah, Connor, just uh, what's the what's the level of anticipation just for the season to get started, especially considering I kind of got snuffed out real quick uh, at the end of last year. Uh, but what, what's the level of anticipation? Y'all get ready to finally play play some games that count. Yeah, every, I mean, the people that were here last year, I mean, that was really awful to just get our season into like that. We're number two in the nation, going to play Florida. Everybody's really eager. Even the freshmen are. I mean, they got stopped too about the same time as we did. Everybody's just ready to get ready to go and play baseball again. Thank you. We have time for a few more questions for Connor. Hey, Connor, I want to ask you guys specifically about the three freshmen, you know, pitchers who are going this weekend, uh, Luke, Jade, and, and, and Charlie. Uh, j just real briefly, just about each of those guys. I mean, you faced them before, obviously, in, in inner squads. I mean, what, what are they going to be bringing to, 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 to this weekend? And yeah, just what are their strengths right now? Uh, I'll start with Luke. Luke is a heavy strike thrower, and he can control his curveball changeup fastball, and he can place it wherever he wants it. And I just think he's going to throw a lot of strikes and let our defense work. Um, Jaden, he's got a powerful fastball. It's like 90-92, but it's got – a high spin rate, so it stays on top of the zone. It goes over people's bats. So I think if he's really – there's a lot of strikes right there in the top of the zone, he'll be really effective. And then Charlie, he's also a lot of strike thrower, but he's got a really good changeup. His off speed is really good. So get ahead with his fastball and he uh, can pitch his off speed, then I think he'd be really effective too. The fact they're all left-handers too. I mean, I know to have four left-handers going in a weekend is, is crazy to think about. But how much difficult does that make it as a hitter? You're a right-handed hitter. How much difficult I mean, when you're facing lefties like that? Uh, how, how hard does that make it? Um, or can it make it? I, I prefer hitting off lefties. It's just easier for me to see. Yeah. Really. yeah. I mean, they're not – I mean, if righties are straight over top, like you can see it, but they're not coming behind you or anything like that. It's always out in front of you. But mm -hmm. for lefties, it's really tough. Cool, thanks. We have time for one more question for Connor. Okay, thank you. Thank you.